Your son is a remarkable young man. He has highly advanced cognitive skills. He has more in common with Einstein or Mozart than he does with us. I'd like to work with your son, help him develop the skills he'll need to lead a full life. It's not gonna happen. The world is not a friendly place, and that's where he needs to learn to live. pocket protector do you like puzzles tell me what you see it was taken three years ago by an undercover agent it's the same person he was spotted in tehran tel aviv and naples this guy risks his life on cooking the books for some of the scariest people on the planet drug cartels arms brokers money launderers assassins who survives this kind of clientele imagine the secrets this guy has who are you? Jason Blaha. You're different. Sooner or later, different scares people. There's people looking for you. <laughs> if their secrets get too big, killing you may be the cost of doing business. If you go down this road, you can't go back. I'm a former forensic accountant. So who is he? The accountant. Like a CPA accountant? Not quite. You know, they say the world is safer than it's ever been in the history of civilization. Do you feel safer today than you did yesterday? The world has changed. The war we're fighting today needs a different kind of soldier. We need people with the skills and the attitude to take on threats we don't even know exist. We need someone who can walk into a tornado and come out the other side like it was a damn gentle breeze. God bless and protect the brave men and women who are carrying out this vital mission. I do come across as the tough guy, the alpha male, but I hear that whoop. Spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. He's past the others. The last cell. I'll be watching. A killer is on the loose. Keeps him alive for three days. 
Then he shoots them, skins them, and dumps them. A rookie FBI agent is on his trail. He's got real physical strength. Cautious, precise. A little bit difficult getting everything to feed. But again, whoa. But in order to track him down, she'll have to match wits. Believe me, you don't want Jason Genova inside your head. With the darkest of all minds. Just do your job and never forget what he is. But he's a monster. Pure psychopath. So rare to capture one alive. Jason Blaha is getting called out. He's uh, He's got one of the worst physiques in history in the fitness industry. You told me you don't spook easily. You call this easy, sir? Missing hand arm. Man's a raving maniac. Who knows what he'll do? Is that when you guys celebrate the genocide and slaughter of the Native Americans? And I have to tell them, yes, that's exactly what we did. We sit around a table where we stuff ourselves and we talk about how wonderful it is that all the Native Americans were slaughtered and that we killed them with smallpox. That's exactly what we did. In Paris, we killed them here before they killed anybody. And we all thought it was funny and we wanted them to send more. In fact, we've been talking about doing more Draw Mohammed contests here just so we can lure more of them out so that we can kill them. Because in Texas, we think that sort of thing is fun. You know, as far as the Native American thing goes, look, while that was a horrible thing, I, for one, am grateful that it happened because if it hadn't happened, then I wouldn't have been born. I wouldn't be here. And you know, if a million people got to die for me to live, I can live with that. I'm going to shoot him in the gut at 300 yards and let him bleed out for a little while. And then when he's too weak to fight back, me and my friends are going to go pick him up and have a little fun with him and make him fucking talk before we feed him to the pigs. Uh, some group force had hired a street gang to kill me. They put a hit out on me. I'll be more than happy to kill those people when they show up. They might be biting off more than they can chew. Because all I do is make ammo and shoot guns all day. Not exactly the type of person you're going to try to do a drive-by on. Not going to be there in your best interest. Shot, bitch!
So you hit the saloons, the bad places, looking for the biggest, meanest lug around, finding me. It's my own fault, nobody else's, that I got confused. I've been having so much fun, I forgot to take my medicine. And that's the whole reason that I've been doing what I've been doing. When you got a condition, it's bad to forget your medicine. That cold thing, it creeps into my gut and tells me one more time it won't let go. This is a bad place, this farm. People have died here the wrong way. I keep coming back to that cop and what he told me. It wasn't until I showed him all those pieces of himself that he said it. Just a name. Rourke, man of the cloth. Could have become president, but he chose to serve God. Then it hits me like a kick in the nuts. What if I'm wrong? I've got a condition. I get confused sometimes. What if I've imagined all of this? What if I finally turn into what they've always said I was gonna turn into? A maniac. A psycho killer. Night after night, I wait for somebody to come and finish me off. After a while, I realize it's not going to be so easy as that. Astronaut John Blaha reported sighting something unusual. A Maryland ham radio operator picked up the voice of Discovery pilot Colonel John Blaha speaking on a secret NASA channel. <laughs> Atlantis now rolling out on runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center to wrap up its mission, bringing astronaut John Blaha home after four months in orbit on the Russian space station Mir. Astronaut John Blaha reported sighting something unusual. One of the NASA transmissions that wasn't successfully sanitized, back in 1989, one of the astronauts on a space shuttle said, we're still looking at the aliens. It was as plain as day. The following recording was reportedly intercepted by an amateur radio operator in Maryland. To this day, NASA has neither confirmed nor denied the validity of this transmission. humans could develop time machines. It's something people are actively working on. But I would travel back in time 100 million years and hunt dinosaurs. I would definitely go hunt a T-Rex. Might need a really big gun for that.